Brad Foster, congratulations. Just successfully defended your British and Commonwealth titles. What are your immediate thoughts right now? I'm fairly happy I got this belt. You know, this is what I came into came into boxing for and I've, I've got it now so I'm just happy I'm happy that I've got got this done it felt like one of those performances you were kind of nip and tuck for the first few rounds and then you were able to pull away why was that um, I only felt like I woke up round seven to be honest it's one of them things I've come out with that belt um, when round seven came I was, I was sound you know I was my distance I thought I only got my distance in round seven <coughs> James Beach is no mug you know, as you've seen in there, he's a very tough lad. He had a massive cut and he kept on coming. That's what that's what it means to win a British title. Them tough fights, and I've come out there with that with with this belt. Was he tougher than you expected, or sort of as tough as you expected? I, I knew he was tough. Yeah, as I said, I, I don't think I woke up in there until round seven, and then that's when I started getting my distance. My shots were coming off a lot smoother, but. Fair play to him. As I said, he's no mug. He's going to come and spoil my work just as much as I'm going to try and do him. Um, what I thought that would have been if there was if, if, if all the Midlands fans were there, it would have been would, would have been a great fight. But yeah, man, I've got these belts. So I'm, I'm happy. How proud are you? That that one on the left there, you can keep that now. That's yours. You've won it outright. This is mine outright. All the haters out there never said I'd be able to do this, but look, it's it's mine now, and that's what believing in yourself and working hard can do. 22 years old, you've come from a kickboxing background, you never had an amateur fight. How much more is there still to come of Brad Foster? There's loads more to come from Brad Foster. I still ain't shown bloody 40% of what I can do. I've still got loads more to show. I'm still learning every day. As I said, I'm only 22. I've, I've had some good fights, good entertaining fights that most people wouldn't have had. So, uh, you know, I'm just happy. I don't think any any. But he's had the fights that I have and won these belts. So, um, you know, I'm really happy. I mean, it, it, Ash Lane, three seconds to go, you stopped him. Lucian Reed, a couple of fights in a row, you stopped him just, yeah. just now. Now, James Beach. Do you fancy an easy fight anytime soon? I don't get easy fights, do I? That's, that's, that's the way it goes. But uh, I've come through them all. Isn't that credit to me? You know, because I don't have no easy fights, I don't fight no Muppets. I go in there with people who want to win just as much as I do, and I come through with the goods, so that's respect to me. So, um, yeah, I just keep on going. Thank you for my team. They put the work in day in, day out. But I don't think I'll be fighting in a COVID-19 pandemic. I don't like staying in the hotel for for four rooms. (laughs) In the last round, it looked like you had him on his way out. Do you feel as though maybe having a crowd there might have made the difference? Do you know what? I thought coming into this fight, having a crowd there would make no difference. But I tell you what, when you get in there, it's quiet. It's it's more it's more louder when you're in the gym sparring, um, and it does have an effect on you. As much as I said it beforehand, it still it won't be any different. But it does have an effect on you. But the main thing, I've come out with the belts. Top respect to James Beach. He's a good lad. I'm sure we'll we'll see each other around. And uh, top respect to him. Before I let you go. You've been getting a lot of compliments on your footwork tonight. It's been quite impressive. Have I? Yeah, yeah. So is, is that kickboxing related? I don't know. I, I can't really remember what I was doing in there, to be honest. As I said, I only felt like I woke up round seven. But I knew, um, you know, two-step, curving, moving around. That was working when he was coming in. I was just taking a step back, slipping. That was working good in the later rounds. But in the, in the first half of the fight, I didn't really think I used it. Right, well, so, yeah. congratulations. What? Any anyone you want next? Uh, we'll we'll see, won't we? You know, the plan is to keep on moving up, keep on going for bigger things. But as now, a rest, see my see my fans, see my family. Hopefully, it gets back to normal normality, so I can uh, get back to normal life. Go out for a little boogie. Go to David Lloyd for a sauna, steam room. Back to normal life. I just want to thank my sponsors, um, Warren Dyson Emporium. He's been helping me training, letting me use the gym, gym unity as well. Um, knockout Diner, Trade Tyres, Baxter Williams, Tyres R Us, um, Foster's Elite Shield, Fenham Boxing, Supplying the Gloves, T1 Media for all the media work. just want to say thank you to all them and thank you for my, to my team, Shay Haightley, Martin Foster, my dad, Paul Collins, and thank you to them. I'm just happy. I can't get my words out fast <laughs> enough. I've got major drive well, out there. Well, you said thank you to all of them. I want to say thank you to you. That was a very very compelling main event you and James Beach you really put on a show boxing's first fight back in in this kind of new world and you really both both put on yeah, a great show well done thank you very much mate you know it's been a eye opener eye opening experience doing this S- sitting in a hotel room for four days not being able to come out um, 
But do you know what? The main thing I've cut, come out with this belt, come out with both belts, and uh, I'm really happy. Let's Thank you quick, to everyone that tuned in. Let's get a quick zoom in on those belts. Have a look at them. Oh, it's a beauty, isn't it? Ooh, look at that. <laughs> look at the small. <laughs> well done, mate.